What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Lou Rock TV. And uh, I'm going to Orlando. I know today's Hobby Palooza. We'll have to do a lot of uh, catching up. But, uh, you know, I'm out with the family. Everyone's getting ready to pack. But uh, I hit an antique shop yesterday, maybe the day before. Um, and... Uh, Found some interesting things. I was super excited. Only spent like twenty bucks, but you know I'm a I'm a dork, so <laughs> I love it. Um, you hear Bob yelling downstairs, but I picked this up from my boy Hitman. I'm always looking at old magazines, Beckett's tough stuff, Sports Illustrated, looking for Clemente covers. But I found this from my boy. He said he didn't have it, so I picked it up for him. For my boy Hitman, I'll probably bring it to the national or next time. Well, I probably won't do a show. Nationals next month. Golly, the nationals next month. Mm, love it. But I found these uh, back to the Beckett's. These Beckett's were two bucks a piece, man. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it's not anything high dollar or anything like that, but um, here's a beautiful Beckett cover. From uh, 91. So I was 10 years old. That's crazy. Joey D and Mickey Mantle. I thought that was dope. Um, found this. I thought this was super sick. From 95. Mickey Mantle. I remember this one. Mine was all beat up. But what a beautiful cover that is. Two bucks. Now, I had to get this one because this is just, this was the card to get back in the day. June of 90. That was the, the picture that captivated the hobby for a little bit. Like, this is so dope. It was a football version. I think he was swinging with his batting helmet. I mean, with his football helmet on. Didn't, didn't have the same effect. But this one I'm super excited about. Now, I wasn't, you know, I went to AC two years ago, met Dr. Beckett, and, uh, you know, I wasn't trying to fanboy over it, but, you know, I tried to keep it cool, shook his hand, tucked a little cards, and uh, I always regret not asking for an autograph. <laughs> but uh, I found this, and I'm super stoked, and I'm going to bring it to the National with me, and hopefully... Um, he'll sign it for me. I won't bother him too much. I'll ask. But hopefully he'll sign it. But I found Beckett number one of Jordan. Man. I think that would look so dope with a nice little silver ink. So, super excited to find that. At the antique shop. I mean, the antique shop usually has more toys and not really too much baseball card related stuff. But every once in a while you find uh, like a, uh, a little diamond in the rough. And those Becketts were... So much fun. Now they have a whole bunch of, I don't know, cards. I don't want to say junk because cards aren't junk, but it's usually nothing much. However, shout out to my boy Sticks and Seams, Griffey Collector. Um, bro, you need to go over there because they have that four row box and there was a ton of Griffies in there. I'm sure you have a lot of them, but there's some uh, cool stuff in there. But go check that out. I'll tag you in this. Um, but going through his box, I found a, I think I have this, but nice little Ali Rushman rookie card go cup. And possibly the greatest die cut set of all time. I love this die cut set. Every time I see it, if it's a guy I don't have, I pick it up. I still need the Jeter, I believe. But the 96 Tops Laser. It was a small set. I think like 128, two series. But man, check out the 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 set, man. Just unbelievable die cut. I always laugh at people who send these cards in and get mad that they don't get a gem in 10. I mean, these were laser cut, baby. <laughs> but 96 tops laser, man. I think it's possibly the greatest die cut set of all time. Now, I was super surprised to find this. It wasn't in a box. He had this in his like little case. He had a um, 
a couple of Hall of Famers. Frank Robinson, I had it already. He had um, a Duke Snyder. But these Nabisco All-Star Legends, man. He had this for $9. I checked it out. He allowed me to take it out the top loader. Um, super minty, man. Edges are nice and clean. And on the top of it, on top of it, and uh, on top of everything, he also had the certificate of authenticity that came with the card. So I just put it in the back of the top loader. So how dope is that? $9 auto. I mean, Jim Palmer gets no love. Three Cy Youngs, like, I don't know, four or five gold gloves. Didn't quite get to 300, but three World Series. I'm like, has a no-hitter to his uh, name. Golly, man. Speaking of name, James Alvin Palmer. I always remember that because I liked the chipmunks when I was a kid. <laughs> James Alvin Palmer. I thought that was funny. I'm like, yo, one of the chipmunks. But yeah, Jim Palmer, man. No respect. $9 for a beautiful blue ink Jim Palmer. Signed perfectly. Great image. I'm going to go back and just get the Frank Robinson. The Duke Snyder. I have a couple of Duke Snyders. Um, I can't remember, but I wasn't in love with the auto. I don't know if it was streaky or what, but the Frank Robinson was nice. Talk about another guy who gets no respect. But yeah, super excited about that. Um, yeah, life is good. Like I said, going to Orlando with the fam. Um, Lando got pulled, stole it from Max. Oh, so excited. That's why I'm repping my McLaren. I got my Lando shirt for tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, man, it's going to be fun. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning, I believe. So I'll be in the hotel doing that. And that's it, beautiful people. Enjoy Hobby Palooza. Um, man, I'm just stoked, man. A month out from the national gonna have a lot of videos i'm gonna do uh a, a road to the national gonna fly out to charleston drive with mangini make a couple stops along the way um i got a lot of ideas a lot of videos coming because i like doing the behind the scenes i know a lot of people do a lot of uh walking around the show and showing display cases and all that i might do that but i like the the big brother behind the scenes, the conversations, the ripping at the house. That's the stuff I'm gonna be doing. So if you like that, stay tuned, baby. But with that, peace out. Go Yankees and McLaren. Let's go.